Hi and welcome back. In this video I will focus entirely on boundary setting which is a very trending topic at the moment. But so, so valuable to your healing journey. And most people don't even know that they can or are allowed to set a boundary with another person. These are life-changing techniques and once I start teaching them to my clients, they run with them and they get life-changing results. Because this is really the most important step in healing. So what is a boundary? I mean, I think most of us think of boundaries as walls on properties, around a farm, something like that, or between states or countries, there's a boundary. And most of the time they're invisible. But in my opinion and in my world, a boundary is a really, really clear form of communicating to another person who you are, what you're willing to do, and what you're not willing to do. And it can be done very, very compassionately. Because I think some people think that boundaries have to be harsh or aggressive. So I'm going to give you a few quick tips on how to set a boundary. Now you'll see on social media that, I've seen this a lot, no is a boundary. No is a whole sentence. Well, I don't know many people that feel comfortable, certainly when they're getting started, with just saying no to somebody. We tend to want to apologize or explain. So that's my first tip. Never over apologize and never over explain because it will just sound unbelievable to somebody. They'll be like, yeah, right. You, you, you're making, which one is the right excuse? Which one is the right reason? So don't do that. Step away from that. Keep your boundary very simple. Now, this is the way to really get a good result with your boundary. Always have good physiology. And what I mean by physiology, it's not just body language. It's, you know, smiling eyes, good intention, making eye contact with the person if possible, being very compassionate in your delivery. The second tip is great tonality. So it's how you say something to somebody, not in an aggressive way. You want to say it in a kind way. You can say just about anything to anyone in this world with good tonality and smiling eyes, even if you don't feel like you're smiling inside. And when you say the boundary, make it very clear. I think that it's very important that you keep it simple. So you might say something like, I'm sorry I can't see you this Sunday. Say they invited you out. I'm sorry I can't see you this Sunday. However, I can see you next Friday. Does that work for you? Now that's what I call a substitute boundary. You're substituting something for something else. So instead of saying the person has invited you out for Sunday and you say, sorry I can't see you this Sunday. End of. That seems to some people a little bit flat, a little bit empty, and a little bit final. But what if you could say, I can't see you this Sunday, but I could see you in two weeks, on Friday, or next Friday, or next Sunday. And then that softens it a little bit more. Now, you might not want to see them. Maybe you don't want to see them at all, and you don't know how to say that. So you could keep it open-ended. I'm sorry, I can't see you this Sunday. Can I get back to you? Now that may, may seem a bit disingenuous, but it's sort of letting the other person down softly. Now this is the really interesting part of boundaries that I must tell you about because it can be quite destabilizing. Not everybody is going to like your boundary because the boundary is for you to keep you safe and for you to communicate to the other person what your needs are. And remember, a boundary is a beginning, not an end. It's a beginning of really good communication. So let's say you set a very compassionate boundary with someone and they don't like it. Now, that could be a couple reasons. First of all, it might be that they don't know what a boundary is themselves and therefore it's very unfamiliar to them or they just don't like that you're pushing back at them, that you're saying no, because maybe for so long you've said yes to everything and now you're beginning to say no. And this is when self-care really comes into play because your boundary is protecting yourself and communicating to the other person what your needs are in that moment. So give it a try, start very small with something that isn't of high value to you 
but learn how to say no with a smile on your face, good tonality, and good intention. Thank you very much for coming on this journey with me today. Stay safe. See you in the next video.